Hi everyone, Ziggy here from Ziggy Zag. The time now, it is 7 in the evening and we are going out to the nearby night market for our dinner. Earlier, we went out for our day trip here in Taipei, Taiwan, which we visited uh, four tourist spots that was really hot and tiring. We finished the whole tour at around 4.30 in the afternoon. We arrived at the train station and we went back to our hotel. We arrived here, uh, I think, around a little past five in the afternoon we what we did was we just relax and we wanted to recover from all the the walking going up the stairs and all the activities that happened during that day so now we are freshened up let's go so guys um, this is the claw machine here at our hotel and I'm feeling good about this uh, one of the this plushie right here so let's give it a try One more. Well, that claw machine was anticlimactic. It really looked like it was gonna, like, an inch that, to win it, but. Sorry guys, I have failed you. So we are now at the corner of this intersection. And this is a new route. The night market is gonna be there. And we're just gonna go around this block right here to see what's in our neighborhood. And we're taking you guys with us. This is the Yisu Hotel, Taipei. We decided to go past this route because of the lights are up plenty. So we're expecting, you know, some shops. Yeah, there's that cute dog over there. There is something that looks familiar. Pizza Hut. Now there are bikes passing by. I'm not sure. I think this is like a bike lane, probably. And on this side are the where humans are supposed to walk. I'm not sure. We've reached this crossing right here and when we're gonna go across to the other side to head to the night market. And the wife spotted like a shopping mall or something. And we're gonna go check it out. This one. This shop right here. I know it's not a mall, it's, it's a supermarket. I'm gonna check it out. Okay, the wife's gonna check it out. So, see you when we get out. Guys, the feel here, it's pretty similar to like a dollar store and in the Philippines similar to um, like uh, Mr. DIY very assorted stuff they are selling from uh, kitchenware to lawn, uh, you know car seat stuff 
uh, laundry, everything. Guys, check out something I found here in Taiwan. A non-existing thing in most places, countries in the world, I believe. Check it out. A real-life payphone! Yeah! Kids nowadays don't recognize what this is. They also got a buffet place right here. Oh, but seems like it's almost closing time. There's jewelry stores. Another here. Here they got crazy burger. Guys, we are nearing the crossing or the intersection. So we went out on that side across. Now the night market is over there. Let's go. Actually, this is not a crossing, I mean an intersection. This is, I realize now, this is a rotunda. See, it goes around. We are gonna cross to 7-Eleven, heading to the night market where there are lights way over there. That's where we're going. Another thing I noticed here, I love the biking lifestyle here in Taiwan. Check it out, that's a not so young person look at her go uh, beside the 7-eleven shop they have a tourist information right here and it will give uh, me the information to share to you that I am here and we are heading to the Ningxia tourist night market so now I found the name it's Ningxia night tourist night market and for reference, this is the night market. We are here. Our hotel is around this area right here. So yeah, the wife told me that our area is uh, more on fashion accessory shopping district. So let's go. Now this street right here, guys, if you remember when we had the uh, uh, beef, rice, and uh, did we have noodles? Uh, wanton noodles and the, the Thai, I, what I call the Taiwanese gyoza it's the same street right here so it's way over there now transferring here to the middle of the street let me flip the camera and show you my view there it is the lights the sights so guys when you enter there you'll see that before the food section there will be like uh, shops that sell different kinds of items like plushies and they also have games for, uh, for you to win the prize. See? So there's... I'm not sure if it's uh, what kind of games these are. Yeah, or shoot the uh, character or something. This one. And shoot the ball. And there's the food street right there. And here you have a friend. Cute. Just standing outside the food street, I could already smell the whiff of stinky tofu. There's the food items here. The place is tight, you have to move forward slowly because like, there's traffic.
There's the cube steak right here. Guys, the time now, it is 7.35. Takoyaki. I don't know what that is, but all I can say is this doesn't look like pork. I had to go out from there because the wife uh, found it really tight, so we might pick. Uh, a shop outside of this food street because it's tight and so many people because of the condition in the food street we decided to go back to the place where we had uh, beef rice and the gyoza so that's where we're going guys this is the place we found it really good the food items that they have here and just to give you an idea it is in this corner over there so it's the gap between the the shops the games and the food street so across it is this one i cannot read taiwanese but this is the place one thing i like about this shop is they got an english menu that's why i was able to know which up to order and guys in less than five minutes of ordering our still I call this the Taiwanese gyoza is served and I hope you saw that when I took a video of the menu the price here it's very reasonable and just a few minutes after the Taiwanese gyoza arrived our order of pork and rice is served and it looks good I think it has the same sauce base from the previous beef order I had and just a few more minutes after the pork and rice is served our soup noodle is served now I believe this has the same soup base which is clear and has a little or no flavor at all so you have to uh, get your condiments by that table uh, like soy sauce, chili and make uh, put seasoning depending on your taste preference to your soup the wife is now adding some soy sauce and chili and sesame oil to give flavor to the soup the wife also got this uh, watermelon drink Try a sip of the soup. Mm. It now has flavor with the soy sauce and the sesame oil and chili. It's supposed to be crispy pork, but it's been uh, soaked in the hot soup, so this pork right here is not crispy anymore. I think it's crispy spirit. It is flavorful, I like it, and I remember one of my college professors before told me that it's not Chinese if it doesn't have pork. Noodle quality, excellent. Now let us try the pork rice. Guys, my sweat is already forming because it's a little, no, it's not a little, it's humid in here. The pork is thinly sliced. Let's try it. I like the flavor. Similar sauce from the beef rice I ordered here. 
and the pork is also tender. No regrets coming back to eat here. Mm. Love this place. So guys, um, there's a kababayan here, Filipino. Um, she's also selling some stuff. Hello, Ate, what's your anong pala nila, ma'am? Evelyn. Ma'am Evelyn, taga saan sila, ma'am? Oh, hello sa taga Quezon dyan. Hello, taga Quezon. Ma'am, pwede ipakita yung binibenta mo, ma'am? Oh, pwede. Ito. Oh. Ayan siya, oh. Tapos may sauce, tapos may mani. Ah, oh. ano nga yan, ma'am? Ah, sticky rice with pig blood. Ah, okay. Okay, Mama Bilin, thank you, Mama Bilin. Total bill for the food that we just had: the noodles, the pork rice, and the Taiwanese gyoza, only 240 NTD. Pretty good. Yeah, value for money, eh? Now that dinner is done, we are on the hunt for some dessert. Hopefully, I find something that I like. Maybe something chocolate. Spotted a crab place. We might return here for that, but let's explore more. We have made it here at the edge of the food street and not much dessert. And guys, check this out. Cool pet. Hey, buddy. That's a fun looking dog. Hey, funny looking dog. Take of this guy. Hey, buddy. As I was walking around here, I noticed this place. This must be really good because just check out the queue. I am now going back to the crepe place because uh, most of the desserts, I mean, uh, that's widely available are the shaved ice with fruits and some tapioca. It's not my thing. Guys, let's try it. Really crispy, tasty, sweet, and the bananas are just the right ripeness and sweetness. I love it. Mm. Bananas falling over. This Ningxia experience has been superb with uh, yummy food at the shop that we had noodles uh, pork rice and the uh, Taiwanese gyoza and the dessert to finish it off and I guess we'll call it a night so guys if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and click the like button share this video out there leave a comment and please consider subscribing to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell to get updates whenever I post new videos guys it really helps a lot if you do subscribe to my channel. Your favorite YouTuber will appreciate it as much as I do. And remember, life is not a straight line, but a zigzag. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, but always keep moving forward.